That's my favorite introduction I've ever had. You might have seen this next comedian on the David Letterman show. But I believe more people have seen me at the store. <laughs> and that would be a better introduction. You might have seen this next comedian at the store. And people would say, hell yes, I have. <laughs> That was the great Mitch Hedberg for a 420 funny. Sir Mitch, you are greatly missed. Now, as many of you know by now, we are unofficially brought to you by a cannabis and herb pairing every day, and this week is Bridgeport Week. So, let's take a look at our first pairing. Power Kush is a very mellow yet clear-headed strain that pairs well with the sedative nature of hops, and the Bridgeport IPA packs a lot of hops in there without them getting too bitter. Dipping into Mary Jane's mailbox today, we got a letter from Corn's Hole 69. Corn's writes, is it true there are only two types of strains? Yes and no, Corn's. Technically, yes, there are indicas and sativas. Indicas tend to be a little sleepier, a little stonier, and sativas tend to be uplifting, that kind of thing. But there are also these things called terpenes that play a large role in how something's going to affect you, and everything affects people differently. So dip your toes in the pool before you do get too deep into any one given strain. <laughs> On my two cents, 20 seconds, I'm gonna give you my two cents in 20 seconds about marijuana versus cannabis. Ready? Go. All right, there's a PC culture starting to build around the word marijuana. The enthusiasts who like the word cannabis say that marijuana is racist, and it is. But marijuana is still part of the mainstream vernacular that the average Joe would understand. What's the name of my show again? And finally, let's enter the high towers of Herb University for a 30 second lecture about our featured strain, Power Kush. Gojo67 here with quite frankly a favorite. It's Power Kush. Now I'm mainly a sativa guy, but this is a sativa person's indica. It's skunky, somewhat grapey to the nose, with a touch of the same on the flavor. But what I love is it takes me back to Jamaica. It settles you into a nice warm body buzz with a carefree nature, but you're alert enough that frankly, I jump in my kayak and pretend I'm back in the grill. Medically, you might try it for pain and depression, but anxiety in particular, as this strain gives you some of those rose-colored lenses. If you haven't tried Power Kush, well, try it and then leave your review in the comments section below and become an herb advisor on herbadvisors.com. That's it for this episode of Marijuana for the Mainstream. Please like us on all social media channels and for the love of God, share. It's a nice thing to do for friends and people that are close to your heart. Send me emails to info at herbadvisors.com with your rants, your questions, your jokes, naked pictures. Nah. In the meantime, enjoy this video about low-dose cooking with cannabis.